Well, you know, in today's political climate, reaching across the aisle is rare, but the University of South Alabama is bringing together two former political heavy hitters to talk about compromise and cooperation. Well, University President Joe Bonner joins us on the red couch this morning. Tell us about this event. It's featuring former Senators Tom Daschle and Trent Lott. You call them former uh, political heavy hitters. Oh, yes. Still in the ring and bringing a big conversation to the University of South Alabama. Yeah, Jessica and Bill, we're excited. It's going to be this Thursday. The public is invited. Tickets are very limited. Uh, we are already at almost capacity, but we wanted the community as well as our campus to have a chance to hear from two gentlemen who actually were both majority leaders of the United States Senate. Uh, they both led at a time when the country, think about this, was evenly divided, split down the middle. The Senate was 50-50. And this was right in, in the aftermath of 9-11, and they had the opportunity and really responsibility to work with President Bush to respond to what had happened to our country. Mm -hmm. Fast forward to today and what's happening in our own uh, time, and you can see the country still evenly divided. And I think hearing from Senator Daschle from South Dakota, who's a partisan Democrat, and Trent Lott, who grew up just across the state line, mm -hmm. and Pascagoula, Mississippi, uh, a partisan Republican, hear them talk about how you can find common ground and work together. I think that's a good lesson, for not only for our students, but probably for our country. All right, this is happening this Thursday in the afternoon, I think four to five in the afternoon. And uh, this is important. It's part of the presidential lectureship uh, series at the university. We've got this wonderful family, Irving and Francis Silver, a philanthropist. Uh, Irving's a prominent attorney. They donated this money several years ago. So this is our second presidential lecture series, and we look forward to bringing more nationally prominent speakers to Mobile for the community and the campus to have a chance to hear from them. Yeah, you mentioned seating is limited and registration is necessary. How do people register if someone wants to attend this event and hear what they have to say? How do they get there? So I will provide the information on your website. They can certainly go to ours as well. And uh, you have to have a ticket uh, to, to get to the program, so to speak, but we would welcome people to come and uh, we're already at about 300 people. The capacity is about 340, so tell them to call early. Yeah, a little room, just a little room yeah. left for this. It uh, it will be a, a great conversation, and uh, I was joking with, with Joe, as we came on the air, I said, I said, you and I, we would have to go through people to get and Dash what did I say? and Trent. I said, I used you just Bill pick Ryle's up. Name. No, well, you just I pick up the phone it. and call them up. <laughs> well, I've Trent, been, Tom, come I've been on down. fortunate to serve with them back when I was in Congress. Right. And Trent, I actually produced his TV show. The Gulf Coast Congressional Report was on WKRG for about 20 years. Trent Lott, Sonny Callahan, and Earl Hutto. And uh, sometimes we even uh, produced it here in the studio, although it looks a little different looks today. A little different <laughs> we these didn't days. have the red couch yeah, right then. Yeah. But thank you all for helping to yes. promote it, and thanks for what you do to help tell our story at South Alabama. Good deal. Well, thanks for coming on today. Joe Bonner, the president of the University of South Alabama, we appreciate you being here.